Within HHS, the Unaccompanied Alien Children, or UAC, program serves minors who have no lawful immigration status in the U.S. and do not have a parent or legal guardian available in the U.S. to provide care and physical custody. In spring 2018, the Departments of Justice and Homeland Security enacted the Zero Tolerance Policy, which resulted in large numbers of children being separated from their parents by DHS and placed in HHS care. In late June 2018, a federal district court enjoined DHS from continuing to separate families, except in very limited circumstances largely related to criminal history, and ordered the government to reunite separated children still in the care of HHS with their parents. OIG's report examines challenges that HHS and care provider facilities faced in responding to the zero tolerance policy and reunifying separated children with their parents. One of the important parts of the OIG mission is to make sure that children who are in the care of HHS custody are well cared for and protected. So we wanted to understand the challenges that HHS faced in order to make recommendations to improve their ability to take care of these children. Maxwell stated that though HHS did not separate children, the inadequacies found in their communication, management, and planning made a difficult situation for separated children worse. What we found is that HHS was not prepared for the zero tolerance policy. The interagency channels that were designed specifically to coordinate on federal immigration policy across federal agencies were not used to notify HHS in advance of this policy change. In addition, key senior officials did not heed repeated advance warnings that family separations were in fact occurring before the zero tolerance policy was enacted and might in fact increase. When it comes to the challenges with the reunification effort, we heard from care provider facilities across the country that they faced a number of challenges in all aspects of implementing the reunification process, from locating the parents that were in DHS and DOJ custody, to communicating with those parents, to actually reunifying the children with their parents. In addition to those operational challenges, we heard from the care provider facilities that the communication and guidance that they were receiving from HHS was communicated very poorly, leading to confusion about how they should actually reunify these children with their families. According to the report, HHS has made improvements in its ability to track and monitor separated children. However, these improvements rely on manual processes that are prone to human error. In addition, what we've heard from staff is that they fail to get all the information they need about the parent's criminal history. And that's important because HHS needs that to make good decisions about caring for the children as well as reunifying those children. OIG makes four recommendations to address the challenges and improve operations of the UAC program. First, HHS should ensure that children's interests are prioritized and represented in decision-making, both internally and with interagency partners. Second, HHS should pursue agency agreements with their partners to ensure that they have the information needed to provide appropriate care for unaccompanied children. Third, HHS should improve communication to care provider facilities. Finally, HHS should further improve its ability to identify and track separated children. While the review we did was a retrospective review, the challenges we found are really broad communication and management challenges that impact um, the department's ability to care for the children that are in its custody currently. We think it's very important that the vulnerabilities that we found be corrected to ensure that the children that are currently in custody receive high quality care.